guys. So this week I built and installed these sliding doors for my pantry. The first thing I had to do was install my rolling door track system so I could determine how tall to build my doors. Once I had that figured out, I cut all my material. My rails and styles are 1x3 poplar. After cutting all of my rails and styles, I installed my dado set into my table saw. I marked the back of all of my material so that when I assemble the doors, the groove is all matched up. I cut the groove into all of my rails first and tested the groove with my quarter inch MDF panel material. Then I cut the grooves into my styles, which was a bit tricky because those suckers are over eight feet tall. Now I'm using loose tenons to assemble my doors because they're quick and easy and strong. I use a carpenter square to mark the location of my mortises. Then I drilled those out, dry fit the door before I glued it up to make sure everything lined up perfectly. And then I glued that sucker together. After my doors were assembled, I used my drum sander with 80 grit and then 120 grit sandpaper. Then I finished it up with 220 in my workshop. I filled a few imperfections and then hand sanded all of the corners and edges so they weren't sharp. Then I cleaned it up and primed. At this point, I wanted to try the doors out in place and see if they're actually sized correctly. So I put the rollers on and tried them out. They fit. Now with the doors installed, I can determine where I need to cut a groove in my floor. My plan is to put something in the door, sticking down into the groove to keep them from banging into each other and into the cabinet. I just tried out these enormously long doors in my pantry and they fit. So now, I need to row or cut a groove in the bottom of my door. The biggest problem is then routing a groove into the floor so that this can slide in it. Okay, I think I figured it out. Now I'm gonna have to remove this. It barely fits, oh my gosh. All right, let's try it. All right, it's time to put the groove in the bottom of the doors now. I've done everything upstairs. The doors are painted, and now it's just time to just do it. My domino cutter cuts, the number five bit cups cuts a quarter inch. I think really all I need to do is put two of these, and I'm gonna put one on each end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> okay. 
Ta -doom. Now that the doors are in place, we can get these cabinets installed in, or this cabinet installed and move on. And one of these days I'm gonna be done with all the tedious tasks that take a long time that have a lot of fiddle factor and I'll just knock stuff out and it'll be done like magic. So, all right, see you next time.